Hello, K Entertainment enthusiasts. Welcome back to I Got News, where the latest buzz in Korean entertainment comes to life. If you're passionate about the beats of K pop, the twists and turns of K dramas, and everything in between, you're in the right place. We're here to keep you in the loop with the freshest updates, juiciest gossip, and exclusive insights from the Korean entertainment scene. We're all about staying on top of the hottest trends and delivering them straight to your screen. So buckle up, fellow K Entertainment enthusiasts. I Got News is here to be your ultimate guide through the dazzling world of K pop, K drama, and beyond. Before we dive into the news, make sure you hit like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and comment below. Stay tuned until next time. Today, we've got a serious topic to discuss involving GOT7S Mark Tuin and some shocking allegations against one of his staff members. Let's get into it. Recently, allegations have surfaced against a person allegedly on Mark Kwan's staff and a friend of his accusing them of using personal information to lure in fans, including minors. This has reportedly been happening for years. It all started when a Thai fan shared a screenshot of a message thread. The messages claimed that the sender was in Bam Bam's room and sent a photo, which was blocked out for privacy. The fan who shared this information stated that this person has been deceiving women in multiple countries, using personal photos of Mark and his family without consent. This individual has allegedly been tricking women into relationships and keeping them quiet by claiming that fans wouldn't like their friend group. The person in question is named Calvin Fan. He has been associated with Mark for some time and was previously a magician. He has reportedly used personal photos of Mark and his family to get with girls, always without Mark's permission. One of the most disturbing aspects of this is that Fan has allegedly been sending these personal photos to underage girls. Rumors about a person close to Mark using him and Jackson Wan for personal gain have circulated since 2018, and fans believe this individual is the same person. After GOT7 left JYP Entertainment, each member focused on their solo careers. Mark returned to LA and established DNA management, which includes some of his friends from home. This decision has been controversial due to their past behavior. What do you think about these allegations against Mark Twan's staff member? Thank you for joining I Got News today. If you loved what you saw, hit like, share, and subscribe for more K Entertainment updates. Your support means the world! Drop your thoughts below and let's keep the K Entertainment conversation alive. As we sign off, keep spreading the K Entertainment love, stay tuned, and most importantly, stay fabulous. Until we meet again for more exciting news and updates,